What's up? How are you guys today? We're going to talk about incline bed therapy, at least that's what one of my viewers coined it. I mentioned this in a video some months ago and then that person left a comment referring to it as incline bed therapy. And I googled that recently and nothing really came up. So I don't know if someone talks about this or did a book on this, but to my understanding, it's really just a thing that some people do just for comfort. You know, there's plenty of people that sleep with pillows under their neck and all that type of stuff, but this is more of a, an extreme incline. And this is something that's helped me, especially considering my liver damage and all of my health issues. I feel so much better when I wake up with uh, sleeping like this to the point where I actually purchased a bed frame that does go up and down. Yeah, so I noticed when I was laying down flat, I would feel kind of nauseous and I would wake up with headaches and you know my nasal cavity would hurt and all that type of stuff. But as soon as I got up from bed and stood up or sat up, I would immediately feel better. So I correlated that to, hey, maybe if I slept that way, it would work out. And there's two components to this. One is the gut motility and two is the liver releasing toxins. So most people have toxic livers, it's just because they're constantly ingesting more toxins, the liver really never gets to release them. But since I'm on a very clean organic detox diet, when I eat food, the liver is releasing this toxic bile, it's sitting in my stomach. But if I'm lying down, it's not really going anywhere. So it just kind of gets reabsorbed into the bloodstream, goes to the brain, all that type of stuff. So you have that toxic bile constantly getting released and that food sitting there in the stomach and small intestine. But if you're sitting up simply by the magic of gravity, the bile is being released downwards and going down with the food into the digestive system. And that food is moving, moving, moving because of the gut motility being active. So uh, just by lying down, you're removing those two very important aspects of digestion. You know, the bile going where it's supposed to go and the food constantly moving through the digestive system. And you have to keep in mind that is worth this EMF anti-radiation bed setup. You know, so when I get in here and it's absolutely zero radiation, and I still don't sleep that well, I still don't feel well, I know it's gotta be either something I'm eating or it was the way I was sleeping and I found that you know, time and time again, if I sleep with the incline, I'll be fine, but if I, if I put it flat, sometimes it's okay, but most of the time it's not. So let's show you guys this little setup. So obviously the mattress is whatever you're comfortable with, but the thing is the bed frame moves and this is a Ergomotion Twin XL. So, you know, if I, plug this in and it's important to unplug this because it does emit radiation itself. Did I just blow a fuse? I don't know, they unplugged the light, great. Okay, so anyway, so it takes a few seconds to start working after you plug it in, but then it goes down with the remote and then it goes up pretty high as well with the remote. But again, keep in mind, <laughs> there is a radiation signal on this bed. It's not that high, obviously it's only high when you're using the remote, so you obviously need it unplugged and then you can kind of close the canopy and sleep. Now it's not really necessary for this to go that high, you know, but this is like incredibly high. I usually keep it around uh, halfway and then if I'm uncomfortable when I'm sleeping, you know, I'll kind of just wake up and lower it a little bit. So we'll leave it around there. And then I can use some pillows and different stuff to kind of adjust my neck height, the positioning. If you don't have a bed frame like this, it's simple. You just need like a lot of pillows, but you know, to stack up like seven or eight pillows, it's not as easy or stable as the incline bed. And I'm sure they sell like ramps or stuff that you could put on your bed too if you don't want to get a frame. And honestly, if I knew that they had frames that do the bottom too, I would have gotten that instead because when your head is on an incline like this, you really need some arch support down here, which is what I do use pillows for. I mean, it's self-explanatory, guys. Get in here and you're kind of sleeping, you know, with your legs up and your head's on an incline. And then I even, I'll wrap a towel around my neck to keep my, you know, jaw closed for my posture and stuff. But, um, but that's really it. You know, it's, it's pretty comfortable sleeping like this. I'll actually, you know, have to close this every time I go in here, which is kind of a pain. And then there's a few other things you probably need if you're using the EMF canopy. Uh, so these we have available on wifishielding.com and depending on where you're living, you might need a few of them to completely block all the radiation. Over here, I have a fan uh, to keep the air circulating. So you know, obviously this is really, really thick fabric. So you need to have a pretty high powered fan constantly blowing 
into this to have fresh air. And down here I also have a humidifier, which I will turn on from time to time just to like, uh, honestly, even just sit over it and breathe the, this in myself, or it'll go into the fan and then kind of blow over there. Uh, but the main reason you might want this is also if you have like really dry heat in your house and that kind of dries out your nasal cavity. I guess another bonus I can show you guys is I do have a, uh, a heating pad if it's cold. Uh, that is on my Amazon shop. I'll put the pillows I use on my Amazon shop as well for you guys and some other stuff uh, if you want to do this yourself. Yeah, so this is really important for me, guys. It's the difference between me waking up with a headache, a little bit out of it, you know, taking half an hour, 45 minutes to feel better in the morning versus just kind of getting up and being good to go after a few minutes. So definitely try this out if you've been having any issues. And of course, you know, if you haven't addressed the Wi-Fi radiation stuff first, you definitely need to do that. Uh, as I said, uh, this stuff, guys, is going to be on my Amazon shop or wifishilling.com if you need to do this. But the bed and the bed frame I just got from Ray Warren Flagon. So, uh, you know, if you don't have, you know, a few hundred dollars or like seven, eight hundred to invest in a new bed frame and mattress, then, you know, go with the other stuff, the pillows and the ramps and all that type of stuff. So, as always, thank you guys for joining me. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment. Subscribe, be sure to check that notification bell, and make sure to go to frankdestefano.com to check all of my interesting businesses and support me. Uh, we just sent out an email for an egg promotion. Uh, so if you guys leave a review on Google, uh, you get $10 off your next egg order. So be sure to do that and send me an email if you guys have been buying eggs. Thanks again. I'll see you guys soon.